Hi, this is Ben Hollifield bringing you a quick update to the barcode and QR code generator application from Yonza Labs. Now, barcode generator has been out there for quite some time. We have a lot of customers using it, but a few things have changed lately, so I wanted to bring you guys a quick update. So the barcode and QR code generator app does exactly what you think it would do. It generates barcodes or QR codes or labels from data in ServiceNow. Uh, this can be used for all kinds of things, from displaying on forms and on portals, to printing out labels for your assets, to putting on posters or flyers for hands-free entry with QR codes into buildings, anything you might need. Um, we find that our customers use this for all kinds of different use cases. And you can get started pretty simply. Once you install the barcode and QR code generator, you come in and click barcode generators, and then start building your generators. You open the form, and this is sort of your workspace for building out barcodes and QR codes. And you do it pretty simply. You select a test record that you're going to work against. Quite often that's an asset, but it could be any record in service now. And then you simply come down into your related list for barcode parts and you start building your barcode. And this works just like, a, like building a hamburger. This is the top bun, this is the bottom bun, and these are all the things in between that get stacked one on top of another. We have different types from HTML to just text and spacers to barcodes. And inside each of these is a slightly different type of configuration. One thing you will notice is that in each of these, you see these field names that are inside the handlebars. That tells barcode and QR code generator that you wanna reach out to the record that is being referenced and pull this data directly from that record. So it can gather data dynamically from records and service now. Let's look really quickly at one of these barcode types just to show you what it looks like. Whenever you open a barcode part, you can select which type you wanna create. This is a barcode. From that, you can select what format it is. We support hundreds of different types of barcodes. We only have a couple dozen here that are enabled out of the box. These are the most popular, but if you need something you don't see, let us know, and we can add it to the list. We support just about everything. And as you add different types, you'll see that it will actually tell you what are the supported types of data that can go into that barcode. In this case, we had selected a QR code. You can set a scale, how big or small it is, the alignment, and then give it a value. Again, put field values inside those handlebars to get data dynamically from uh, the record that you're referencing. So that's enough there. And then once you have built out your entire barcode parts, you'll see up here in this formatter that it starts building out the barcode, what it's gonna look like for you. Um, and once you have your barcode built, you're kinda good to go. We don't really know where or how you might need to use these barcodes, so we've included a ton of sample code so you can use it however you need to. This, of course, is a formatter if you just want to display it on the form. We also have UI actions to show a barcode in a dialog box, as you can see here. Um, you can show it on a UI page in Jelly. Uh, we also have included recently uh, a portal widget where you can use this to display your barcode label on a service portal. And we have other things that are um, enabling printing. This will automatically print it to your printer through your browser. And brand new in this release, we have the options to save the barcode to your local machine as an image file, or also to attach a barcode image to a particular record. This is the first time we've been able to generate hard barcode images in PNG format, which opens up some new possibilities if you need to export these for, um, for printing or if you need to attach them to records for inclusion in email notifications, things like that. Opens up a lot of new possibilities. And though you don't see them here, we also have list UI actions that enable you to display or print multiple barcode labels at the same time from the list view. And our hope is that providing all these sample code and sample UI actions to you, we're enabling you to deploy this wherever you need to in your instance for whatever process you need to deploy it to. We expect you will come out here, grab a UI action, edit that UI action, and you'll find that within this we have commented the code substantially to tell you what variables you need to set to gather the appropriate variable names, table names, things like that to generate the barcode. And then you can insert and stay these actions or these formatters or these portal widgets or whatever you need where you need in your instance, and you will be off and running with barcodes and QR codes in your ServiceNow instance. So thank you for watching. If you think this might be something that will benefit you, then please uh, go out and check it out. You can find us on the ServiceNow store. You can try this out for free. And if you decide it's right for you, you can buy right from the ServiceNow store. Thank you very much. Talk to you next time.